I'm Hannah Cousins, I am a portrait photographer. This is my studio here in St Albans. What I'm going to show you today is a technique which I use frequently. It's called butterfly lighting. It basically is the typical beauty lighting where you've got one light over the top of your model. So I'm using my Canon 5D Mark III, my 100mm lens. So let's go upstairs, we're going to be using a 15 inch beauty dish silver. So I'll head upstairs and I'll show you how it's done. So this is Rachel, my model for today. We're going to do classic butterfly lighting. So the light's going to be right overhead, straight down her nose. It's going to give lots of shadow underneath. That's what I'm looking for. I'm also going to try something a bit later where we leave some negative space to the side, but we'll still use the butterfly lighting, but we're going to do it from an angle instead. But first things first, you stay there, look beautiful, and we'll crack on. What I'm looking for here is to get the light right down the centre of her nose. So the best way to do this is actually to use a boom arm. So I've got my light straight across here and it can, gives me all this free space to shoot right underneath. So what we're going to do is just move this into position. What you're, ideally you're looking for is to get the centre of the beauty dish right on the face. If you have it a little bit too high or a little bit too low, it's not going to work properly. So I need this right in the centre, right down her nose. Bring your chin down a little bit, Ray. Perfect. It's exactly where we need it. Good. There you go. Lovely. Well done. Perfect. Excellent, thank you Ray. Now Rachel's actually in the perfect position at the moment because what I'm looking for, if you just bring your chin down a touch, is this little butterfly shape under there. I don't think it looks like a butterfly but fine, that's what they call it. So we're just looking for that little shadow of the nose underneath there. Also, we want to make sure that her eyes are in the right position because if she brings her chin too far down, she'll get dead eyes. There's no light in there, her sockets look pretty dark, so I just want to bring her chin up. Equally, if you go too far the other way, you go too far back, it's, you've got no shadow, it just doesn't look right. So bring your chin down, Ray. Perfect. So that's exactly where I want her. She's got light in her eyes, a little tiny shadow under her nose, and that's it, we're ready to go. A little bit more, there you go. Wonderful, thank you, love. Beautiful. Excellent. Good. Another thing that I like to do is add a reflector underneath here. See, you can probably tell under here we've got lots of dark shadows, which is great because it really accentuates her cheekbones. However, if we just introduce a reflector underneath, it can just fill those shadows just enough. So I'll take that away again for a second. So you can see the dark shadows here. Just bring in that reflector, it just bounces that light back into her face. So it depends what look you're going for. If you want to have that real pronounced cheekbones and this dark shadow under here, then just shoot without it. But if you want something that's in the middle, I would just introduce a reflector underneath. It can be white, silver, that's probably my best choice. Just come down a little bit right there. And it's fine, your model can hold it, that's no problem. You can just hold your hands underneath it so it doesn't affect your shoulders. Perfect. There we go. So I'll just shoot that and show you the difference. So now we've moved the light into position. If Rachel was to keep her head facing forwards, we wouldn't still achieve the butterfly lighting. You're now entering something that's bordering on a loop light, which is where you've got this little shape to the side of her nose. So what I'm actually gonna get her to do is turn her chin this way so we can shoot a bit further out. I'm probably gonna crop along here so we've got some negative space here to add any text at a later date. Um, I think we're more or less ready to go. That's in position, bring your nose down just a bit. There you go, perfect, ready to shoot. There you go. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed our quick tutorial on butterfly lighting. If you want to follow what I do, come follow me on Twitter, I'm at Hannah Cousins. My website is www.hdphotography.co.uk. I will be doing in-person courses, so if you want to come along and learn what all these modifiers do and how to sculpt the face, then do get in touch with me and we'll have you here in the studio and I can show you how it's done. Um, but yeah, I hope that was useful and I hope you got something out of it for today.